I'm using my iPhone 6 Plus exclusively as a camera and for time lapse. I literally have, I've only made a couple phone calls. Interesting, I'm getting a phone call now. Hey guys, Sally here. Uh, forgive the hair, I haven't showered yet. Um, I woke up in kind of a negative mood. And I'm sure there were a lot of contributing factors as to why I was in a negative mood, but um, the important thing is that I'm cognizant when I'm feeling negged out or, um, what's another word, discouraged. And the interesting thing is that I have learned that, you know, you can change the loop in your head, you can change the program, you can change the CD, you can change whatever, whatever dialogue is going, you can change it. And, you know, I'm a Christian, so I usually do that. I'll put on the Word, or I'll get into some praise and worship. Uh, those of you that uh, are of a different faith, or you're, you know, you're agnostic, whatever, it's just a matter of connecting or plugging into something that inspires you. Uh, and then you can change that loop. Uh, what I love about the mind is it can be programmed in the respect that um, emotions and feelings um, are not static, right? They're already always flux, which means that you can change them. So just as uh, quick or as easy as you can be negative, you can be positive. And I, I think that's kind of the lesson for me today. Uh, it's something that, you know, at the age of 49, I'm always working on my positivity. And even though if you ask me how I'm doing, I'm always saying blessed and highly favored, uh, I still have to do the self-work on a daily basis, just like anyone, to remain positive, to remain in the state of flow, to remain uh, motivated, and to keep pushing forward against all of the stuff that life throws at you, adversity, challenges, right? So uh, if you're feeling negative today, or uh, if you're in a season in your life where you're discouraged, uh, it's really important that you find the people that inspire you and that you feed your head daily with, this, with the good stuff that uh, changes the way you feel. And, you know, uh, uh, spending time alone with the Lord uh, in prayer and asking him to give you strength and asking him to help you, that's kind of how I get through. You know, I have to lean on him. Uh, I'm not ashamed to admit it that, you know, I, I really do have to lean on God. Without God, I'm nothing. The only good thing in me is God. So it's another beautiful day in entrepreneur land. I can't imagine the weather could be any better than this. There's not a cloud on the sky. It's like just completely, well, you can see right there, right? Completely beautiful blue sky. I was talking to a guy about, uh, you know, the industry, about business, and he said, you know, uh, one day I want to retire. You know, I said, I don't want to retire. I love what I do, and I want to do it forever, but I, I, I don't want to have to do anything. That's kind of the point is that, yeah, we want to uh, have success on a level that we, you know, can be free to do the things that we're passionate about doing, whether it involves making money or not making money. Uh, and when you have residual income coming in, obviously you're in a position to do that. And so that's what I love about uh, this industry, networking, selling information, selling training. Um, it's evergreen. You can do it forever. You can do it uh, as long as you're vital. You know, you can do it in your 80s. And, you know, I love the art of networking. I love the... Um, I love uh, mixing it up with people, making friends. You know, I said in a past post that you know, if I have, if I'm going into Europe, I have so many people that I can call and say, "Look, I'm going to be in Sweden. Look, I'm going to be in Denmark. Look, I'm going to be in Norway. Look, I'm going to be in Italy. I'm going to be in Milan." And uh, red carpets get rolled out because you know you make lasting relationships with people all over the world. That's what I love about social networking in our industry, especially when you can build a team globally. And so, you know, what, what do you guys think? Uh, you know, uh, look, I, I have no, no problem with, with someone who wants to retire. 
because they want to, they're passionate about ministry or they're passionate about philanthropy or they're passionate about whatever it is that, you know, that they want to do in the next phase of their life. And if they've, you know, planned the future in such a way that they can live for the next 20, 30 years of their life or however long they have left, that's awesome. For me, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm living my dream. I'm, you know, my ministry and my business are one and the same. Um, I believe that personal development, all the good stuff in personal development stems from biblical truth. That's been my experience. And I just, I just love the person that I'm becoming every day because hopefully I'm, I'm you know, moving forward, I'm getting better. And I just love the journey and I, I, you know, I never want to retire. I just, I want options. So here we are at the Brookside Art Show. Um, this is going to be fun. I was here last year. It was just incredible. There were so many amazing uh, artists and all kinds of different art too. Like, you know, not just paintings, but sculptors and just really creative, amazing stuff. So I'm going to be filming for a while. This is going to be fun. Here I am at the overpass. You can see behind me, I'm capturing the sunset over the overpass. Kind of a cool little setting here. Anyway, uh, getting back to a lesson that I learned in business a long time ago. There was a time that I was a uh, power seller on eBay. And I did a lot of things on eBay to try to make money. And it wasn't until I started selling pool tables on eBay. And I, man, I sold guitars, I sold watches. Um, I tried a lot of other, other things, but I didn't start making money, real money, like a couple thousand a week until I started selling pool tables on eBay. And I remember um, I lost my pool table manufacturer and I was in the land in between and, I, and, and it took me a couple months and I found a new one. And I hadn't been getting any sales and I was struggling financially. And I remember that I had auctions going. I had this customer that reached out to me on the phone and he was definitely a really high maintenance customer, you know what I mean? And his personality was very abrasive and very just, I could tell this guy was going to be a problem. And But I needed the money. I needed the money desperately, right? Because I had been a couple months without a sale. I already had a really busy, flourishing eBay business. And then I had this, this lapse with no money coming in for a couple months. And I remember saying to myself, this guy is going to be your problem. I remember having this feeling in my heart that if I sell this guy a pool table, it's probably going to blow up on me. But I did it anyway, and it proceeded to blow up on me. This guy was just Satan's minion. You know, he was just a nightmare from the pit of hell. And in the end, it cost me the entire cost of the pool table, the shipping. I was out all of it, and it actually caused me to lose uh, my eBay business for a while because um, I went deficit in my PayPal account about $1,800 and at the time I couldn't make up the $1,800 to get back to, to zero. So I wound up like having a season where I had to go do something totally different. So there's a lesson there. Um, I think it was the uh, Robert De Niro movie, The Ronin. Have you seen this movie? And there's a line in that movie where he says, if there's any doubt, there is no doubt. And I knew this guy was going to be a problem, but I didn't listen to the instinct. I didn't listen to my gut. I had all kinds of doubt about this guy. And something I've learned since then is sometimes you have to starve to eat. And what I mean by that is sometimes you've got to say no when it hurts. Because uh, in the end, it's your business that you're building. And your business is uh, a, a living, breathing, growing organism. And you've got to feed it. And if you feed it the wrong diet, then your business is going to become anemic. So it's better not to get a sale if it's the wrong sale. 
And you've got to be able to sustain yourself outside of the business. If you're solely relying on your one business to sustain you and you don't have reserves in the bank, you got a problem. So that's my two cents for today. Uh, let me repeat, if there is any doubt, there is no doubt. And sometimes you've got to starve to eat. God bless.